Welcome back to another probably way too long episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. I keep aiming for 15 minutes because I think that's a nice length for a let's play. It's like those um, tiny bite-sized chunks of entertainment you can get like before you have lunch or while you have lunch or whatever. So yeah, Dwarf Fortress. We're still at it. We are butchering those langles we killed or we had our dogs kill. So let's put that on repeat. Because we do have a lot of animals to kill uh, to butcher here. The skeleton. Oh wow, they decayed pretty fast, didn't they? Okay, I'm also going to make an indoor um, pasture for those birds, so they are not harassed constantly. I'm going to place it here. And we're going to make the door over here. Because why not? So that's some of our food problems solved. Now we we'll get to dig some more. And this has how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's thirteen spaces and I need which means I need thirteen rock nest boxes. Oh, I hate those monkeys. I also need another rock door. And since we have plenty of non-economic hard rock again, I can ask you guys to make rock blocks. And you to... Yeah, finish those boxes. That's important. Also, I'd like you to make highest precision record records. Not sure if I said that already, but I like how you can do that. How you have to do that in character. Also, forgot to make those uh, rooms, to assign those rooms. This is gonna be the expedition leader office. This is going to be the uh, manager office. So, yeah. We get that. And now our, our manager can actually manage the, uh, the fortress. All from his office. So we should soon have the exact count and how many things we have to eat and drink and uh, be merry, I guess. That door goes here. I think I can make you... oh, you're already brewing drinks. That's good. Uh, th this door is not actually going to be overly useful. I just like having the room kind of uh, separated. I really need to figure out how long I want to build this wall and where I want to leave the, the entrance. I think I'm going to make it here, because that way I would 
be able to leave a bit of space to the uh, I would have the, the shorter way to the river so my fisherman could still go go fishing without having to walk around the entire thing or the entire fortress while my other guys could still do their stuff as well so I'd have somewhat short ways for caravans and uh, can I actually yes oh, okay I hate this sorry um that's the accessibility accessibility for the trade depot you need your depot to be accessible by wagons otherwise your traders won't carry as much th uh, stuff for you and you can't sell them as much and you can't buy as many things from them as they will have a lot on their wagons it's not like they all come with an empty wagon like we did and now it's time to make a new pasture so all those birds go down here and this one the others can't go down here because there is uh, no real stuff growing so there is no um, there is no uh, grass or no cave moss growing so they can't actually feed on that also you can see now I have exact stores on what I have and what I can use so that's pretty cool I'm also going to uh, probably forbid some of those things right away okay we still need the uh, nest box here and we're going to forbid those eggs this has a very simple purpose I want them to hatch because they should be fertilized due to uh, having a bird of the other sex on the map come on yes great so now we also have hen eggs which can be forbidden And we'll have goose eggs, which will be forbidden. And yes, I think um, fertilizing in dwarf fortress is kind of via spores, so uh, your animals will reproduce as soon as there is at least one male and one female all over the map so if you have for example I could place my female birds all down here and my male birds all up here and they would still have fertilized eggs Let's see if we can place another nest box let's do two so um, we have that. I think everyone wants to handle those animals. It's kind of cute. Once they have some task that requires animals, everybody is right at it. And it's. Yeah, I think that's cute. To some extent, as cute as dwarfiness goes, it is. Well, cute. Also, see uh, people drinking a lot. Dwarfs will almost always prefer booze to actual water. water. Drinking water makes them feel bad. They will drink water if they're sick and that's the only time they will volunteer, volunteer to drink water. Cat over there. Okay, let's make sure this is kept as well. So by forbidding the thing, the dwarves will not 
take it, which means um, it will have a chance to hatch. Who is idling right now? The expedition leader, who should be a stone crapper, I think. Is he? So, yeah, we almost forgot about those. Could also be a carpenter, I don't know. No, he's not. Then he shouldn't be idle. Huh, so, the miner. Okay, uh, let's continue with the walls here. Why didn't we place... Okay, we don't have any seeds for those. Uh, how far over to the... Okay, I want to go past this... Um, past this pond here, so... I need to cut down all trees on this row, on those few lines here. And I'll also start building here, so that should do. I might actually need to build two rooms high because I have this um, thing over there. And there is a small mountain, so people might be able to climb up there and shoot into the walls. I'll see if I can do anything against that. But for now, we should be okay with uh, just having this. Okay. Um, let's see what our, mi uh, our miner is actually doing. He's quite well. And he has leveled quite a lot, it seems. He is already at level 16. Which makes him a legendary plus, n plus 1 miner. I think you can go to legendary plus 2. And there is Autumn. So the game is saving. Again. And we should receive the Dwarven Caravan very soon. That's always quite the event to look forward to. Maybe they'll bring us another guinea hen. Maybe not, then we can actually actually request one. Requesting things from the caravan is quite easy and can only be done in autumn. So you need you kinda need to know what you're going to need next year. We also have a horse foal, which I think needs to be sorted onto this uh, pasture separately. No, it doesn't. Where is it anyway? It is not here. Are those... no, those are ravens. Or are those ravens? Yes, they are. Ravens aren't that terrible. They are annoying, but not overly. Unlike, say, uh, Grey Langers, which are just a pain in the ass. And the royal one at that. Anyway, we are going to build walls, so... I want to have this wall here. Yeah, it's going to be a long wall, and um, some people might hate it, because it will force them to walk all around the fortress. But I'm going to like it. 
because I hate people and I hate uninvited guests and this will actually keep uninvited guests quite well away from us. Oops, what the hell did I do here? Why did I build upstairs? How did I hit you? Okay. Doesn't matter. We are going to build a wall. This time it certainly is a wall and we are going to finish this corner here. And that's the reason why we wanted all those rock blocks. Because now we have smooth walls. I think the um, other walls made from rough stones just look terrible so I want those. And there's also a bug I hope we don't encounter this time. Nope, we didn't. Uh, it's sometimes the mason just stands on the tile where he wants to build and then declares there's a creature occupying the site. Which is kind of silly because he just could step one room aside and everything would be fine, but he doesn't. And that's uh, a problematic thing. Because you then need to cancel and reassign the task and it has to be done over and over again until eventually he gets to the point where he stands at the right spot and just builds the damn wall. And that's a major pain in the ass. I know many things in this game are a major pain in the ass, but that's something that annoys me most because, well maybe it annoys you too, but it's something that annoys me really heavily because it is, um, well, it's annoying though, it's um, something that doesn't need to be and something that uh, something that just creates an obstacle in the game because if you if your wall has a breach that shouldn't be there because it's only caused by a bug it's not because your masons were too slow or something it's because they were bugged and if your wall has a breach while you are besieged you're in trouble because then goblins will be able to get into your fortress where they shouldn't be able to get into your fortress and that's the problem. Also the, if you just looked at the log file here a cat just adopted a uh, person that's something that happens in Dwarf Fortress. It's not the people adopting the cats, it's cats adopting the people. And with that we will bow out of this episode and I will see you in a moment.